please don't dim your light. We are here to be ourselves. We are here to express ourselves, be creative, and we deserve all of the good things that we want to have, all of our desires. Hello beautiful light beings, my name is Monica and thank you so much for spending some time with me today. So the message that I was getting that I was feeling very passionate about is on the topic of not dimming your light. And what do I mean by that? We are all light beings and we are beings made of love. That is our natural state. I realized just now that all of my life or most of my life I have been a huge people pleaser. I would do anything to make people happy, smile, laugh, feel better if they were feeling down. A lot of times even at my own expense. Like, I was the type of person that I would make jokes all the time to try to cheer people up. I would do a lot of acting and dancing. I would pretty much entertain my friends a lot. Uh, I would even, per I would even intentionally trip and try to make it look like an accident just to make somebody laugh. So that didn't seem so bad in my younger years, but I also thought about the fact that my mom, and I love my mom, she was the only person, she raised me as a single mom, and I love her so much, uh, but I was thinking about when I was a child how she always seemed to put me on a pedestal. And you would think, huh, that doesn't seem so bad, why would you complain about that? Well, I realized the downfall of putting someone up on a pedestal is if they have a personality like mine, then I feel like I need to tone myself down a lot to make other people feel better. Like I don't want someone to feel jealous of me or inferior of me in any way, no matter what it is. And so I would really just kind of not take opportunities that I felt like I wanted because I didn't want to take it from someone else and that I felt like I didn't deserve it and that other people were more deserving than I am. And that just became like a state of being for me. And I feel like I've been in the dark tunnel for so long and I'm finally going towards the light and I am healing, I've healed so much and I'm still healing and I believe we're always kind of healing in some way, form or another. And as I'm healing, I just feel all of this love that I just want to share um, and this insight that I've learned from being in such a dark place with other people, which is why I started this channel. I thought of one more example. Uh, years ago, I had this best friend in high school, and one time she told me that I basically made her feel bad because whenever we would go out somewhere, she would get dressed up. And then she would see me and she would see say that she thought I was more dressed up and that I always looked better and so that kind of made her feel bad and I know she wasn't saying this to make me feel bad but she was, she was just being honest which is great that's fine but I took it as okay well maybe I don't want someone to feel like they're not as pretty because of how I'm dressed or something so Subconsciously, I, that's how I took it, and then I noticed I started to dress not so nice or you know down because I've always been uh, growing up. I was always a person who really liked to dress up and get extra fancy, even if I was just like going to the store because that's just how I I like to look. I like to feel good about myself, and apparently I didn't know that made other people feel bad about themselves. But I realize now that that is not my problem. That might sound harsh. But if someone else is feeling inferior to you or jealous of you, say you're in a, a good relationship and they're not, and so they're not really happy for you, or you just got a promotion or a really good job and they they hate their job, and so they're jealous of you because of that, and they try to make you feel bad about that. Uh, first of all, I would I would encourage you to find new friends because I feel like your friends should be happy for you and supporting you and encouraging you along your journey just like you would along theirs no matter where they are because life is not a race we're all on our different paths um, a lot of times we're just comparing ourselves to other people and that's taking away from whatever things that we have to be grateful for in our own lives so my message to you is to honor yourself 
to go for whatever it is you want. Be yourself. Be yourself. But I mean, I guess I really don't know what else to say. It's just don't try to knock yourself down to lift other people up. By being yourself and going for what you want, being happy, you lift other people up as well. You even lift the consciousness of the planet up just by being yourself, being true to yourself, loving yourself, and being happy with yourself and being happy with others. So dimming your light won't make other people's light shine brighter. We live in an abundant universe. There is enough room for every single person's talent, for everybody to manifest their desire, for everyone to live their dream life. We don't have to try to push other people down and, and try to get ahead. That's that's not necessary and that's not very good intentions towards other people. My vision for the world is I really, truly, genuinely want everyone to be happy and to love themselves and to love other people and to be doing exactly what they want to do in this life. And now I realize that I don't have to not do certain things in order to make other people feel better. And that's kind of a hard lesson that I've learned, but I <laughs> I believe everything in life is a lesson and it teaches us something new and that's a good thing. So I'm very, very appreciative of the experience. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And until the next one, I will see you later. Bye.